Hello, I'm Kathleen Hall, the Stress Doctor. We get questions every week from people on our websites. These questions this week came in from thestressinstitute.com and also mindfullivingnetwork.com. This is our first question. How will I know if stress is affecting me in a negative way? Well, we have three areas of symptoms for you to look for and also in your children and maybe even your coworkers. First is the physical. Are you starting to get headaches or back aches? Or are you having trouble breathing? Are you having rashes, any GI tract problems, diarrhea, any kind of abdominal pain? All of these things are signs that you're very stressed or can be signs that you're stressed. The next is emotional symptoms. Do you find you're getting short of temper? You know, your temper's uh, flaring all the time. Do you find out that you're kind of shutting down, withdrawing from uh, situations? Do you find that you're biting your fingernails or tapping your foot or showing some kind of agitation? Those are emotional symptoms. And they're also relational symptoms. A lot of people, when they're stressed, will withdraw from the family. They'll go into their bedroom or at work, they'll close their work door and won't communicate the same. And some people throw temper tantrums. We see that with children a lot. The next question is, are there different types of stress? Absolutely. There's good stress and bad stress. We call good stress, you stress. Like for an example, I'm getting a puppy this week and I'm really stressed out because I've got to get a bed and a leash. That's good stress. Or I have a project I'm very excited about doing. That's positive stress, that's you stress. Then there's negative stress, like a bad marriage, your child having some real emotional problems or problems at school. Also at work, if you don't like what you're doing, if you don't like what you're doing in your life, that could be negative stress. Another two types of stress is chronic stress and acute stress. Acute stress is normal. It's like getting caught in traffic, your child getting a bad grade on their report card, or getting to work and finding out your dress has a rip in it or something. You can get stressed out, but the body easily assimilates that kind of stress and gets rid of the adrenaline through your sweat, your saliva, and just gets rid of it almost immediately. But chronic stress is where the problem is. It's when you're living in a bad relationship day after day, week after week, month after month, or a bad marriage or whatever the situation is and that is chronic stress it goes on for a long time then you produce cortisol and that can have effects on the body the third question is give me a few tips on how I can quickly handle my stress so here's some easy things you can do first is remember just to deep breathe take a deep breath inhale to the count of four and exhale to the bottom of four another easy thing you can do is listen to music just throw on your iPod and, you, and listen to some music you love, or also go online. Anything, maybe sing. But we know that music de-stresses you almost immediately. Next is do some form of exercise. I'm sitting in a chair. So even if I sit here for a few minutes, I can do some stretches, yoga stretches in my chair. I can look up. I can leave here and walk around the office for five minutes. I can walk around the outside of the building. Get moving for a few minutes. Next. Keep somebody on your email or on your texting that you can text or email right away or call. What we know is when people are stressed out, if you can call somebody you love or care about, it immediately lowers your level of stress. And finally, keep some stress reduction food around you. Like for an example, a simple banana is loaded with B6. So what that does is help you produce serotonin and lowers your stress. You can also keep dried blueberries or blueberries in your refrigerator at work. And what we know is it actually makes the brain go calms you down actually grows the brain. So remember, very simple things that you can do every single day to lower your stress. This is Kathleen Hall, and thanks for listening to us today. I'm the Stress Doctor.